Hey everyone, Waterbots here, and welcome to Wolfstride, made by Oda Iman Studios and uh, published by Raw Fury. And uh, I'm good friends with Raw Fury, and so I, I was just looking and it's like, okay, what games do they have as part of the next fest? Because I want to get to them before it's over, and the answer is Wolfstride. I, I know they have others, but Wolfstride was the one that immediately caught my attention. It is a really stylish looking, I mean, this is one hell of a... Uh, title screen. <laughs> but, but it's a mecha game. Yeah, it's a mecha game. Uh, so we're going to take a very quick peek. I think this might actually be something I want to use a controller for. Um, Wander believes that there are woefully too few games that involve mecha. Yeah, we need more rad mecha games. But I think this one is at least in part inspired by Gurren Lagan. Wait, welcome, welcome people, people trash. <laughs> I'm not here yet. Uh, here. No, not yet. This is just a single sample of what what is to come in the full album. From the bottom of my heart, I hope you enjoy it. An album? 2017. The world's turning point. You, you want to take this show, sure. actually? Watching giant metal beasts that beat each other to death has become civilization's most beloved sport. Behind a thin veil of equanimity, a bloated society awaits the next blood brawl. Meanwhile, a humongous devourer lurks, slowly awakening to the sounds and smells of a time that won't return. This is the story of mankind. This is the story of a group of people. This is the story of a man. For now, just enjoy our single. Welcome to Wolf Stride. Is that a dog person on the left, or is it just a really fluffy person? Yeah, I think it's a dog person. I love the mix of pixel art and then full illustrated max. Mm-hmm. Zero, zero DV. Demo volume. So... Each of the levels are tracks. I think they might be making music illusions. Um, so forever fight night. What? I'm broke. Better go talk to Duke and get back in the action. Watch out for the white diamonds above your character's head. They might have new info for you. That's how I run. Okay. Duke. Well, I guess let's talk to people. Hey, Z, what's our status? Is Z an old lady? I think so. Pretty good so far, darling. I'm finishing up my blueprints on the cowboy. <laughs> Killer Hound Duke is being a hand on the wheel around here. Talking about a sidekick. <sighs> also, I brought some goods just in case. Nothing fancy, but hopefully it'll help with the tides of our upcoming stormy night. Here, we start to access the status and manage cowboy's equipments. Mecha! Blah! Garbage plate. Joe frame. Yeah. I mean, it's the most basic stuff. Punctured hull. Starting... Dead engine. Oh, we're trash. Wait, is that a... Is that Peepo, a... Peepoo. Peepoo. Well, Peep who is a little cat face? It's a little cat butt thing. Okay. It's Wait, all you. Really? You are Peepu. What are you looking at, nerd? Ugh. All right, all right. Want me to teach Knife some new piloting skills? Show me the cash! Okay. Escape or start taxes. Cowboy skills. Does Cowboy really have the little chest tuft? Uh... You mean... Knife? Leonard? Or Leopard? Leopard, yeah. yeah, yeah. He does. Oh, actually, this is Knife Leopard. Hey, man. I'm glad you're back. How's it hanging? Duke's giving you some trouble? Nah, he's fine. Still pestering me about selling Cowboy, though. Either way, he and ZZ really make a good team. Cowboy are ready for a fight. I can feel it. You should try taking him for a spin sometime. It's addictive. You're the one who got the short straw. Besides, it was your idea to keep it. I know. 
I wouldn't go about it any other way. This is our friend's legacy, after all. So, yeah, we're a manager. We're not even the, uh... Now, I think he had more to say, because he has a white diamond above his head. Same with Z. Oh, uh, maybe. So, you ready for some bumping? Hell yeah, dude. I've been taking my time. Peepo taught me some new moves. I can't wait to show them off. So, so how's the cowboy? Shine like justice. Duke did a really good job. We got brand new iron frames for the arm units. ZZ's been working on the circuits and spare parts. I think we're finally making this happen, dude. <laughs> I guess we better hurry up. Did you finish preparations yet? Okay, so we can purchase items and sell stuff, but we are poor as dirt, so... Ugh. Where the hell have you been, Shade? I've been working my ass off fixing this pile of junk all day long. Did you finish preparations for our fight tonight? ZZ brought in a new engine. We just finished installing it. And I better take good care of it tonight. You hear me, kid? No reckless moves. All right, all right, dude. I'll be careful. Okay. I love the portraits. It's so expressive. Mm -hmm. He'll be facing Wormageddon and his crooked pi pilot, Godworm, at Hogs Arena. I made... Oh, yeah. I made sure we got 50-50 shares from Bounty Hog. Now get your stuff together and let's roll, Catman. Oh, we're good? How's your pilot holding up? Ready to blast, dude. Remember our plan, kiddo. Go for his chest, but watch out for the armor. Cowboy's rifle is loaded with piercing bullets. Make good use of it. Goes without saying, but try not to get your ass kicked. And more importantly, get back safe. I will. That's what I want to hear! Let's go, crapheads! Wolf's turn is about turn-based battles. Destroy the target's chest unit to win the battle. Have fun! You ready for the fight? Heck yeah. So you're fighting against Wormageddon? Wormageddon. Godworm? Looks like he has the skull face paint going on and weird lenses. Oh, this is cool looking. Mecha battles. Listen up, you rancorous piece of nerd people who is going to talk you through this pee tutorial. Wait, why, why is it a pee tutorial? Uh, well then, mecha battles, parts and victory. Wolf Stride is all about turn-based mech battles. Every mech is divided into a number of parts. For example, head, left arm, right arm. Destroy your opponent's chest to win the battle. Each part has its own HP and armor. When a part gets attacked, the damage gets reduced by the amount of armor. The remaining damage goes against the HP. When the HP reaches zero, that part is destroyed. Mecha battles. Moving like a giant pea! Tiles along the bottom of the screen show where the mechas are on the battlefield. You can move your mecha by selecting Move Command in the Command menu. Are you getting this, nerd? Moving consumes 1 MP, move points, per tile. Numbers on tiles represent damage bonuses for your mech, and will add to every skill. If you corner your enemy, or they corner you, that's called a deadlock, represented by a tiny P-lock. A P-lock? Or is this just one of those things where they insert P every now and then for no <laughs> coherent I reason? I think so. An enemy under deadlock will receive a lot of bonus damage. If you're under a deadlock, then I got bad news for you. If you move on top of an enemy, you can push it away. Just like you did with your last significant other. <laughs> Pushing consumes 2 MP. Sorry. I didn't... <laughs> I just think that was funny. <laughs> There are attack skills and defense skills. Skills consume AP. Action points. AP refills each turn. Some skills also require ammo, such as rifle shots. Ammo is replenished by selecting the option Reload under the Defend menu. Skills have a cooldown timer, so you nerds can't break this P game. Every turn, your gauge will fill up. When the gauge is full, you'll be able to use a repair skill. You might be broken, but at least try to fix your mess, okay? Using a repair skill costs one charge. You can also save up to three repair charges for later. Wait, why did P go up I don't and know. over? Checking out your enemy. By pressing the P button, you can check your enemy's stats and see how handsome they are. Asking them out to, on a date is totally optional and probably a bad idea, because we all know how you deal with rejection. 
don't we? Just check our parts, HP and armor to see if you're making a scratch. Get in there. Now throw yourself into the real war, nerd. Too long didn't read. Peepo teaches you, but you never learn. You think I'd give you a trophy for completing the pee tutorial? All I have is this short arm, so... Bat, bat. Okay, how do we check out? <laughs> Pressing the... Oh, <laughs> control, got it. All right, so you're at okay. the edges of the screen right now. Their bot has the Power Rangers lips going on. Oh, he does have the Power Rangers lips going on. Mm-hmm. So why hit the chest? Maybe it's one of those things where you take out your opponent by destroying their chest, but they might be able to defend with their arms and use certain weapons or skills with their arms. So in some battles, it might be beneficial to take out other parts of their body before finishing off the central piece, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so that's. So shoots. it looks like you have some range skills, but you can only get them when they're on those squares. Yeah, I might as well just zoom all the way forward. Attack, rifle burst. Break armor 10, do 25 damage. Oh, did you see that? They have a shielding, and then there's their HP. Hunter. The uh, uh, taunt duration will apply armor, re reload ammo, or seatbelts locked down. So you can put on the defensive, or you can do cactus guard. Ah. Okay. Can't do anything else. So I wonder with cactus guard if he has to hit your arm then. I think so. Yeah. It was negative 25 to your arm that was guarding. Looks like it. Okay. A we knock also have a knockback punch. punch. Let's see. So it looks like he only has shielding on the one large arm and then the central chest. Are you sure you shouldn't use the ranged move again? I do not have enough juice for it. I gotta reload to actually be able to use it. Because the rifle shot takes two ammo. Yeah, he's doing a big punch. It looks like he can knock me back again though. May maybe. Oh no, he's charging that up. I wonder what's his range for that. Not entirely sure. Curious. What do I have? Well, it almost seems like you should retreat and then shoot from afar. But not yeah. all the way to the end. I don't know how far his god punch can reach. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up. We're going to hit him with a rifle burst right in the chest. Mm -hmm. And he broke his shielding. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go all the way into a corner? Yeah. I don't know what his range is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, did he move? Yeah, so it looks like we deadlocked. Yeah, that's because you reached the end. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure if that had a limited amount of range. Yeah, except the problem is now, isn't he going to get bonus damage against you? Let's see. Kind of. Okay, there we go. He is, but that's not actually a big deal. But yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have moved back. But that's okay. Or at least not as far. I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have enough AP for any of these. Uh, 
Let's see, I can reload. Oh, does that just keep adding more defense to both? Maybe? I think so. Another knockback punch. Is it one or two? But yeah, he's straight up not... Ah, he knocked you back again twice. Yeah, it looks like it. Shoot. Pistol punch. But he's still staying there. Yeah. But it's okay. But does he do twice as much damage? Look at that plus 30 on him. Oh, I can I can push him. Ah, uh, uh huh. That's good. Okay. So we'll have to set that for next round. Okay, so we're I'm we're fine. Yep, he pushed you again. Okay, he's doing god charge. Well, anyway. Gonna bump him. I'm gonna knock back punch him right in the chest. Mm hmm. And then can you fire on him from afar or are you gonna uh, defend? Let's see. No, I don't have enough juice. These words are gonna reload. I wonder if God Punch will always send you to the edge, or no? no it, it didn't. didn't. It didn't. Hmm. He did push into me, but that's okay. And I'm seeing some damage on your chest piece now. Yeah, we took 90, but no biggie. Oh yeah, he only has 60 left on his chest. Now 15. Woo. Let's see. Now if I'm lucky. Shotgun does a little bit of damage to everything. Yep. Woohoo! Victory! There You're we the go. winner! Well, this is rad. I like the style. Uh, the combat's a little slow, but I think that's mainly just because we don't have any good parts yet. Mm hmm. Hey! No time to rest, Catman! We got another scheduled flight on the way. The mech is called Fancy Boy. His pilot goes by Fancy Jack, apparently. I don't know where these stupid names come from. Well, whatever. Don't forget to fix Cowboy. Don't worry about the cost this time around. That's on me. Also, we're going to need, need lots of damage to break through Fancy Boy's thick hide. And for, fortunately, we got some cash to spare, so use it wisely. Things get too hard. We can always bully Warmageddon for more prize money. If you want some info on Fancy Boy, talk to Peepoo. Also, ZZ says she's got something for you, so you better check it out. Just give me the word when you're ready to sail. Okay, approach damage units. Con hold confirmed. Uh, cool. All right, so you got some cash. Okay, so first and foremost, I gotta repair. Ah, so you have to spend a little bit to bring them back to mass. Yeah, not this time. How about the other parts? I think it's just the one arm. So I gotta figure out how to reach it. Oh, it's probably down on this level. Mm-hmm, probably on either side. Close enough. There we go. Quick omelet. Oh, maybe he wants you to cook an omelet for him. Maybe. Okay, training protocol. The good, the bad, the ugly. So, uses four ammo, left arm. But that's a really long range move. Night Eater, ammo 2, AP, range. Rising Sun, ammo 0, AP 3. Oh, it says at the bottom. So Deadly uppercut, dawning in the early of morning of some unfortunate chin. 90 damage, increased pit stop by 10%. A natural self-esteem, blast engine overdrive. Yeah, so map. this is probably a defensive manu maneuver. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, have shields next to them. So it charges the repair meter by 30% and 
hurts the enemy's repair meter by 30%. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Blast engine overdrive. Gain one movement point and knock back two. I think I might want to pick that one up. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, what, what that lets me do is bully a person into a corner for more damage. Wait, what's a secret weapon? Duke said you had something for me. Sure, darling. I think you guys are ready for this. It's a new operational system. It took me to hell and back to make it compatible with your mechs OS. This is a Joe's mainframe. It will fairly increase Knife's maneuvers, allowing him to do much more in less time. Use it wisely. Thanks, Z. You're welcome, darling. Now, let's kick some ass. Okay. Added to inventory. Uh, mainframe. Joe mainframe. So it increases our AP from three to four. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what else can we buy? So Joe engine. More movement, less base damage. Joe shielding, more HP. Uh, nano fluid recharge. Uh, Any of different HP plates. armor. HP armor, HP armor. Engine. Movement points three. Nano fluid recharge ten percent. Reduce HP. Oh, I don't like all these HP reductions. They're kind of good and they're kind of not. The mm -hmm. thing is, the HP reductions, eh, it's not bad as long as they don't take too much. I suppose it depends on if you're okay with potentially losing an arm in battle. Now, if you lose an arm in battle, I can only imagine that that would disable whatever skills require. When you that have arm. the repair move, you can actually resurrect it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got four different heads, bunch of different chests, but we have two different things we can put into the chest. And a couple of things in the arms. What do we what do we currently have? Because I'm pretty sure what we've got is atrocious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't have equipment for that available. Okay. So currently, Joe Frame, base damage 10, a garbage plate. ammo 1. Trash plate. So the Joe Frame, I see. So in other words, you might want to upgrade your right arm, chest, and head, or... Maybe. The left arm at least has the Joe frame. Baseline, I'd like to get one more one more ammo, I think. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. I might want to specifically go for more of like a full melee build. But your mech is cowboying. Eh. <laughs> okay, how much money do I have? I've got an amount. So carbon padding might be good. I just think he's supposed to be a gunslinger of some sort. Oh. What about my what about my engine? So punctured hull is 220 HP, 10 armor, and dead engine is only movement points too. That's pretty bad. So yeah, let's take a look at the chest stuff first before anything else. Joe, janky old equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually be. So what's the nano fluid recharge? I believe that's uh that's for repair points. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the octo engine? I mean I guess the the slower nano fluid recharge is kind of the downside on that one. Oxtrad engine, an engine made of fire and dreams. <laughs> Otherwise, what we could do... I mean, those I'm, are HP MP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something silly. Whoa, wait, why are you buying multiple parts? Because I have the money for it. Right, 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 but... Oh, oh, that's engine and shielding. Are you upgrading both? Yeah. 
Wait, what? Because you already got an engine, didn't you? I don't... Well, I just bought something. One second. No, I just got the Joe Hull. So, Punctured Hull, this is going to give me more HP, less armor, but more movement points. Okay, so... Oh, you... what about special parts? No, I can't buy any of those yet. I, I still you, have 700. You probably need to unlock more. I thought you already got a shield. Uh, no. Not for the chest. And I was thinking of specifically going for the Joe hull. Oddly enough. Uh, mainly because if I get a lot of movement points, I can potentially... Yeah, let's do this. Okay. But you already had... Oh, I see. That's the Oh, no, I was supposed to buy an engine. See? What did I tell you? I just told you that you had a shield. Didn't oh, I? I can I can sell it. Right, but didn't No, no, I can sell it for the the same price. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I want to go back here. We need an engine. That's what was messing with me. Yes. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm going to go for the ZZ Foxtrot engine. So just negative 20 HP, but you have all those other boosts? Yeah. What about arms? Well, remember, one arm already has a Joe frame applied to it. So I don't know if it's the right one or the left one. But it's a Joe frame Mark 1, as opposed to a Mark 2. Mm -hmm. I don't think I might want to mess with those. I was thinking of going specifically for the carbon padding. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Mecha, Dead Engine to the fox Foxtrot. And head to the carbon padding. Okay, nano fluid recharges at 45%. Max stock is 2. My movement points is 5. My thoughts are... Uh, let's let's take this for a spin against Wormageddon first. You want to fight against Wormageddon before Just you for fight a practice against... fight. Okay. Because I really I want to test something. You want to see if you can have it that he doesn't bully you into a corner. Kind of. Okay. So, I have to be right in the middle. Here's the thing. You have a lot more movement points now. Get him right in the, right in the chest. Anyway. Hello! Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you lock him in place? Uh-huh. I got him deadlocked. How much damage does that do? 65. Yep. So because I have so much movement, mm -hmm. uh, I can potentially just bully him into the corner. Obviously, he's going to try and push me back, but I've just got so much more mm -hmm. knockback than he does now. Okay, knockback punch. Yeah, because it's good if you can do knockbacks and then you can even use your ranged abilities. Or you're just going to keep punching him in the corner. This is called bullying, Shell. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it does... What, is it the plus 30? Is that... I can ram him. Nope, can't. You can't defend? Uh, no, I don't have enough AP for that, but that's okay. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Well, also, he seems to be striking arms as opposed to your chest. It's fine. All right. Bump him back. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I should be able to do a pistol punch against his chest. I mean, he's offline. That yep, was fast. there we go. Yeah. I, I figure if I can just clear the distance to him immediately and just hit him really hard, I, I might want to go for a much more melee-focused build, skip ammo, except for maybe, like, an opening shot. Mm -hmm. Um. Whew. And, yeah, that pays pretty well. Okay. Any repairs that you need to do? Oh, yeah. Um. I think he mostly went for this arm. arm. I could be wrong. 
I want to check all of them just in case. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention when he was damaging me. Mainly because he wasn't really. Oh, interesting. Uh, we're still in the free repair period. Ah, uh, right, because it's after the first battle. So what would you increase now? Uh, I'd probably look into the armor. Oh, the armor for each arm? Yeah. I'd probably want to just get a pair of Sentinel V-frames for the arms, just base damage plus 20. Oh, but that's not the armor. That's the... That's the frame. Utility. Yeah. And then as far as the armor goes... Uh... I'm not entirely sure, actually. Also, make sure that... Oh, oh, actually, I think it should be interchangeable. Yeah, all the parts are. For arms. Uh, I might want to get just the... <sighs> Do we already have the Joe plates? You have one, I think. Or no, I thought you had a... You have a Joe frame. We've got a Joe frame, but that's not what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got a garbage plate and a trash plate. <laughs> oh, garbage plates. Haven't had one of those in years. Yeah. So in that case, Joe Plate would give us HP and armor. The Joe Plate Mark II would give us HP and more armor, but reduce our base damage. I think I'm going to go for two Joe Plates. And can I buy... Looks like you can't buy those anymore. Yeah, I would have... Well, I might be able to afford... We'll see. I think it'll be okay. Alright. So now I... I'm fairly... You're decked out. I'm fairly decked out. Here, let's... Fancy boy info. Listen up closely, punks. Gotta watch for his junk shield. We don't want to... We won't get anywhere if you keep wasting energy on that thing. We're gonna need lots of damage to get through his armor. This ain't gonna be an easy fight. So remember, we gotta go for his heart. Once we take it out, it's game over. It doesn't hurt to break up some arms on the way, though. And watch out for his head. Okay. The one immediate problem is... And I might want to rethink this a little bit. About damage? Yeah... I think I'm going to grab one Joe frame. Honestly, the Joe frame might have... Oh, maybe I should have done the Joe frames instead. Whoa, thank you, Rockwar, for the raid. That's a name I haven't heard in years. How you been? Uh, let's see, so we want left arm. Yeah, Joe frame mark two. Increase the ammo cap. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to... Are you selling things off? Yeah. I'm just gonna sell all of our old stuff. I'm back, baby. Very small, but back. Oh, congrats. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's grab the other Joe frame. This way I can actually have bullets. Because my previous setup was all melee, which would be nice, but we don't have any armor stripping melee moves yet. Mm -hmm. I feel like that could be a problem. All right. But fancy boy. Are you ready for the fight? So that's Fancy Boy. Looks like a pig man. Yeah. They don't care about the pilot. That's Fancy Jack. That's Fancy Boy. He's got mm -hmm. a knife head. All right. I suppose that's what you're supposed to watch out for. Now look at how there's a plus five, plus ten. Yeah, so I do bonus damage if I'm here. Which means... Let's you take can... a look. So he has a lot of HP on his chest. Yeah, so I might want to actually shoot for the face. I'm not actually sure to what disable knocks him his out. knife head. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, they did caution that shooting for the heart will end the fight that much faster. Yeah. But... Oh, I could have actually shot him again. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. Pistol punch right to the face. He'll push me back. 
Oh, that's... That actually... That worked really well. Mm-hmm. He did put a target on his one arm. You're right. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Yep. Okay. How do I want to do that? You could knock back. Yeah, but I can just push him. I got enough movement. I move back. He doesn't stay deadlocked, but that's okay. Rifle burst. I'm gonna keep shooting for the head. Alright. Uh, let's do pistol punch. I'm gonna have to reload. Oh, but his head's almost gone. Mm hmm. Okay, do I you have, have enough for defense? No. Engine overdrive. Is he gonna boost up or? That's the that's the knockback. Oh. Oh! He gathered a bunch of cars onto his other arm. And threw a car at me. He's really aiming for my face. Well, you're aiming for his. It's true. And now he has a car shield. Here's the thing. Okay, let's repair. 90 HP to the face. Okay. We're gonna defend. We're gonna reload. And now he taunted me. So I have to hit his junk shield. Hmm. But you're hitting everything at once, which means his face Including is down. the face. Okay. Oh, and the shotgun only uses two AP. Perfect. I'm surprised he didn't use the knockout punch before doing the moves. Unless it would have used that. up too much AP. I'm going to tank up a bit, seeing as he's aiming for my head. Mm -hmm. And then beef the arm. I wish for Cactus Guard you'd have a bunch of spikes come out. Wait, he healed up his head? Yeah. Yeah, he fixed his head. I don't actually know what fixing the head does, unfortunately. Well... Now, do I do I have to hit his, his arm still? I do. And that's on cooldown. Oh, did I have to equip that other defensive skill? I did. Okay, because he had knockback punch, it ain't gonna do much. Alright. I've got plenty of movement for this, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna push him in the corner. Then scoot back. Uh, let's see. I'll just rifle burst the arm. Might as well strip that armor. Ugh. Does it do the full damage to it? If it's the rifle? Or then, no, I'm thinking of the shotgun skill. I don't have enough AP. I guess I'll just reload. I guess I can shoot him twice. <sighs> Next turn. Guillotine head. That's his big move. It is. Apparently. Wow. That managed to push you all the way back to the corner. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Hello. Now are you going to push him back? The knockback? Or you're yeah. just going to... Yeah. Time to start hitting his chest. Because it looks like you got to hit the chest actually to take him out. Well, yes. Um. That's what they explained. That the chest is the vital part. It's just that if you can disable arms and the head, it disables his big moves. Well, the arms are... Maybe the arms are more for... They're generic moves, but maybe the head is required. The one thing for I will say is move. potentially if I took out this arm, which he would wouldn't take be some... able to defend again. Yeah. But it has a lot of defense. Yeah, it would, it would be tough. I mean, then again, if you do sixty damage when you back him into the corner, eh? 
I should probably... Oh, that's what I should be doing. Okay, and looks like 45 armor is the maximum amount I can get on that arm. That's okay. Slug repair. He's repairing his chest a bit. And he has his junk shield. Reminds me a bit of the Metabots game. The GBA. I hope eventually we actually get to see visual differences on the parts. Actually, maybe we do. Now, I really like the art style and everything, but do you think that... And I also think the the black and white aesthetic is interesting, but would it, this have been more appealing to you if it was in color? I, yes, I think so. I like this, and I think it works perfectly fine, but I think color would have been cooler just from the perspective of, like, I'm not actually looking at the game as much as I'd like to. Mm -hmm. I can't really do too much here. And the big issue is... In that shield. Yeah. But do you have to strike through that shield in order to get it down? Or does it disappear after a number of turns? Yeah, disappear... The shield doesn't two necessarily disappear, but I'm taunted for two turns on that shield. Mm -hmm. What's the wizardry port protocol? It revives something. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna move him back. Okay. Still got some ammo. Let's just do rifle burst. Can't shoot anything else. I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to hit through his armor. Uh, I did a little bit. Yeah, I, I think my secret is just going to be the... Uh... My general secret is going to be the... The shotgun. Because I think I can do more damage than he can repair. I'm just surprised that you haven't st stood next to him to take advantage of that plus 30 Can't damage. when he's got the... Uh can't when he's got the shield up. I mean, I can. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. Not worth striking through the shield. Yeah. The one thing I would say is maybe selective color would be the other easy option for this game. Because mm -hmm. I feel like uh, heavy selective color could be really cool. Okay, defend, reload, attack, shotgun. Yeah. Because yeah, that takes out his head, does a ton of damage to some other bits. Mm -hmm. Main reason being, no more guillotine head from him. Which is, I think, his strongest move. I don't think left punch is very good. Nah, it's not. Yep, and you have that passive healing yep. going on, right? Okay, so what do we have? I don't have enough ammo for much. Pistol punch would send him back, but I don't think it would. I don't. It wouldn't send him back. Really? Oh, that's no. not. That's not the punch punch. But that okay. said, pistol punch is the move. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should save up the uh, the shotgun shot. From when I've got him deadlocked. I forgot that I can do a double pistol punch. If you have enough energy and ammo, right? Yep. Can't defend, but that's okay. I got this in the bag. Is that all he's got? Wizardry protocol on himself? Yeah. What did that do? It revives his head. Ah, uh, okay. And he's done guillotine head. What, what went offline? Your arm? Yeah, it took up my arm. Ouch. You're wondering what wizardry protocol does? Mm hmm Okay, it's back, but it's still very mangled. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's good. He only has 10 HP. Can you take it out? Yeah. We're deadlocked. I got 2 HP. Defend, reload. Look. Style and panache. <laughs> Shotgun time. Goodbye, fancy man. It's probably going to have a bit of a repair bill, but mm -hmm. we'll have some extra stuff that we can buy. Wait, who is this lady? Dunno. That's it for our single, however. These characters will permanently be stuck in battle limbo. I've, I have a rematch with Wormageddon and Fancy Boy as many times as you want. Play forever. Just don't forget, we got a whole album coming. Bonus tracks included. Thank you for playing our demo volume. See y'all around, people trash. Stylish. I, I wish the battles were almost a little bit more kinetic, but I understand why they are the way they are. Mm -hmm. Um, Mainly from the perspective of, like, it feels like it would be so much better if it was a little bit faster paced. Do you think that there's a... Whoa. Well done, kid. Whoa. We are the champions. Now let's sell this trash pile and cash in. Anyway, you were going to ask? I also wonder if it was a little claustrophobic if it would have been nice to have seen the whole max. If you could zoom out. Like, if it was an option to zoom out. Yeah, I could see that being real good. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've got any other parts to, to buy. And I can fight some more. Alright. Well, one way or another, this game's actually really cool. It gives me... The the designs... Like, the characters' the designs give me kind of a Gurren Lagan feel. <laughs> but the, uh, the story and the way... The presentation almost kind of makes me more think of Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just the, like, deadbeat, the slightly more, like, grungy universe. And, I don't know. One way or another, I like it a lot. How do you equip moves? Uh, it's under pilot. I forgot to do this. Pilot stance, can't do that yet. But, so, I could get rid of one of these. Probably cactus guard. Maybe? Uh, mm -hmm. eh, it's okay. It's good for bullying a person to a corner if I wanted to. Uh, but I think right now I'm, I'm fine without... I don't know. My moves are okay right now. Once the game's actually out, out, then I might look into some other things. I guess the one that would be worth maybe looking into would be Rising Sun. Just because, you know, heckin' dangage. Or Unnatural Self-Esteem. This one's actually really good because it increases pit stop by 30% and reduces enemy pit stop by 30%. Uh, which means they can't heal themselves and you heal more often, which is actually pretty good. I don't know. I'll think about it. But, for now at least, I don't know when this game's coming out. I have no idea if it's anytime soon. Uh, can you repair your arms? I Yeah, I can. It just <laughs> says coming soon. Doesn't see anything else beyond that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because look at how... That's pretty bad. Fancy Boy was uh, did a number on me. There it you go. It feels like I'm... Once the game is actually out, I'm probably going to spend an amount of time uh, grinding just to have enough for repair bills. Kind of reminds me of Armored Core in that way. Mm -hmm. I That was a really solid mech game that I had to... Repair bills ate most of my money, and it was kind of tragic. At least this one lets you kind of grind it on the easier guys. So that's not a big deal. But yeah, I... I like this a lot. It's real cool. I can't wait to play more of it. But for now at least, uh, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games, hit subscribe, because we got a ton of them to check out. But mm -hmm. for now... Thanks for watching. See you next time.